So uh, I'm going to be talking about Romulus today. Romulus is, as you can see here, a small ROM board which fits under the CPU or accelerator of your Amiga. It's got a little jumper on the back here as well, so you can switch between two different ROMs and the jumper switches which one you automatically boot from at start. So to demonstrate it, I'll pop an accelerator on top of it. This is a, a 68030TK2 accelerator. Snap that on there. Pop it into the CPU socket of my Amiga Test motherboard and switch it on. This will take a few seconds to boot up because it's checking all the RAM on this board. And you'll see we've got a Kickstart 2 built into this motherboard. So let's insert the USB stick which has my floppy drives in it. And it will first boot up with the Romulus utility boot disk. And this shows that the internal ROM is Kickstart 2, um, as we thought. And there are two additional ROM slots provided by Romulus, and they are both erased at the moment. So let's go ahead and select some ROMs to install into it. So I've just inserted another floppy disk, which has Kickstart 3.1.4 on it. So we'll select that file. And hit OK. And it will erase if there was any ROM in there, though that, that would erase. And now it's going to flash the ROM from the uh, floppy disk. This will take a minute or so to uh, flash, but it's also verifying as it's flashing the ROM. And there we go, the flashing of the first ROM is complete and it's been read off the ROM as Kickstart 3.1.4, which is exactly what we wanted. Now I've got another floppy disk with ROM files in it. So we'll select that and load file. And we've got another Kickstart 2.0.4 on here or a 1.3.0. So I'll select the 1.3.0 ROM and we'll put that into ROM slot two. Yeah, okay. And this utility um, actually works with Kickstart 1.2 all the way up to 3.2 with no problem at all if you want to just boot off the uh, floppy. Um, there's also an LHA provided if you wanted to install it onto uh, your workbench installation. The utility will only work when booted from the internal ROM so that you don't accidentally overwrite the ROM you're currently using and cause all sorts of issues. And there we go, Kickstart 1.3 is there as well. So to switch between them, we just hold down the Control AA reboot sequence for uh, just over three seconds. So I will do this now. One, two, three. Give it a few seconds. Again, this is slow because the RAM checking on the board. And there we go, we've got Kickstart 3.1.4. Let's hold that down again. One, two, three. Uh, 
and we have Workbench 1.3 there. And we can hold it down again. One, two, three. And we get back to the motherboard ROM, which is Kickstart 2. Now then, I can try and change this jumper. Let's turn this off. I'm just going to pop the board off to make it easy for me to actually reach the jumper. Like that. Switch the jumper over. And now what we'll find is it will boot from the Kickstart 3.1.4 first of all. The cycle will still work between the three ROMs. It's just the first ROM on the flashboard will start. So let's turn this on. And there we go. 3.144 is now the default ROM on this board. We can switch between them again with the control AA cycle. So it will be flash on one, flash on two, and then motherboard, and the cycle will go on the more times you do a long reboot sequence. And that is it. Thank you very much.